Understanding trauma is essential when trying to understand why we're getting emotionally triggered and they're both so deeply connected really what i find is it's the triggers that are revealing to us the trauma that has been suppressed and buried for years the suppressed emotions that we've been bearing and pushing down that we haven't felt safe to feel and so the triggers are revealing to you what's unresolved inside so I'm going to go a little bit into understanding trauma to give you a bit more of that insight to understand your emotional triggers. So traumas are really when our nervous system becomes overwhelmed and we don't have the support or the tools to move through that, to discharge that excess energy. So things are happening too fast, too quickly, it's overwhelming and we shoot out of our window of tolerance. And then we start to develop these coping mechanisms, which often are developed in childhood and they get strengthened over time. So every time we get triggered or overwhelmed, we go to our coping mechanisms, which strengthens these. So it becomes more habitual and unconscious when we're actually doing them. And often we don't know why, like, why am I self-sabotaging? Why am I reacting in this way? Why am I getting so angry? And it's so confusing in the moment. But what is happening is there are all these deeper layers that have been developed over time. So what we need to do is actually start to become aware of the trauma, the suppressed emotions that are held inside and integrating it. So for many of us, our expression has been suppressed for so many years, for generations and generations. And it often begins in childhood when we don't feel safe to express a certain way maybe we express anger or we start crying or maybe we're laughing out loud and someone around us tells us off or tells us to shut up or um, in their own way tells us it's not okay maybe it's a look that they give you maybe it's the words they say maybe it's the action maybe the wooden spoon comes out like we all had different upbringings that really created this fear of our full authentic expression when we threw a tantrum and we were yelled at and it wasn't okay and there's all this energy inside that we're trying to express through the tantrum or getting angry crying laughing um even our pleasure has been suppressed of oh that's yucky that's wrong it's not okay all these different messages that we received and a lot of them may not even have been intentional they were really subtle and our caregivers or peers didn't even realize that they were actually suppressing our expression. They've just almost unconsciously reacted because of their own stuff. And so that's how the stuff gets passed down from generation. We end up with this generational trauma because these belief systems, these traumas, these things that happened to the generation prior, if it's unresolved, it actually starts to get passed down because it's showing up in the way that they act, the way that they speak, the way that they act with other people. We are watching and absorbing all these things around us as a way to determine what is okay and not okay, what is safe and not safe. And a lot of the time we're operating from this survival space of if I say this, if I do this, what will happen? We end up in this anticipatory anxiety of like trying to figure out what is okay, what will keep me safe. And then a lot of us tend to wear these different masks and we become really disconnected from who we truly are. And there's this yearning to reconnect to that authenticity, this yearning to belong, this yearning to be loved, to be accepted. But we have this mechanism that says, well, my true self, my true expression won't be accepted. So I have to be this way or that way or wear this mask. And even if we get accepted wearing that mask, there's kind of like this almost this feeling of, it's not enough or it's not working or I'm not feeling the thing. What's wrong? And we start trying to figure out what's wrong. 
but what's happening is that we're not actually being our authentic self so how can we truly be accepted how can we feel that we truly belong if we're waiting for someone else to accept us waiting for someone else to say that we belong but we're not even being ourselves so really that acceptance that belonging has to come from within and this whole process of becoming aware of the trauma the suppressed emotions the disconnection will open up the gateway that will guide you to reconnection to expression to being authentically you to integrating and resolving the trauma that will allow you to feel more grounded centered safe secure and you'll find that these triggers become less and less they're not as strong they don't have as much power over you you're no longer getting swept up in the trigger in the emotion in the repetitive pattern wondering why does this keep happening to me why am i playing out the same thing why am i dating the same person why do i keep ending up in the same situation and we start to think there must be something wrong with me and we buy into these stories that come from the unresolved trauma the core belief systems that we developed in childhood and our adolescence that were passed down from the generations we buy into the story and we get stuck but if we can become aware of the story and realize that's exactly what it is a story and we have the power to change that story through the integration of the trauma through the awareness then we can actually start to shift our belief systems and shift our life to release these emotional triggers to to allow these triggers to be your teachers we start to shift the relationship with this experience of the emotional trigger the trigger that's so intense so overwhelming that's so like shaking the core and bringing up all of the suppressed emotions and it feels so intense because we've been suppressing for so long it's not just this present day experience that is causing this pain it's every experience that we've never allowed ourselves to feel for maybe weeks months years or even decades and so when we start to allow ourselves to feel it integrates and we no longer become so triggered or overwhelmed by what's coming up we start to empty out the tank but this is a process and it's not an overnight thing it does take time it does take work and it does take practice to start feeling again because so many of us have become so numb to our emotions so numb to our experience that we're not fully living and if you're numb to one emotion you're numb to the other so if you're pushing away the anger the grief the sadness the emptiness or the feeling of i'm not good enough i'm not worthy i'm not lovable all of these these feelings that are wrapped up in you you're also suppressing your ability to lean in and feel pleasure and goodness and bliss and joy and all of that as well and so we're kind of just going through the motions not ever really feeling fully at all and so what we want to do is start to lean into whatever is present within you now when you're feeling relaxed lean into that and embrace it when you're feeling joy and you're just taking in that breath of fresh air or you're laughing with a friend fully embrace it and acknowledge it celebrate it when you start to feel like that grief coming up or the lack of motivation or heaviness the grief the anger the rage the trigger embrace it feel it take that time for you it's not about lashing out and yelling at anyone it's about taking some time for you going to a place where you feel safe maybe it's your bedroom maybe it's in nature maybe it's in the car just where you have your own little container where you can start to feel what's coming up often this can be quite an intense process and that's why we reach out to mentors coaches communities friends partners we reach out to others to have that support to be held through the process but we are the ones that have to take that action and feel the feelings no one can feel the feelings for you no one can do this for you but they can hold you and this is what i do for my clients um, for those that i love i hold space and i support i create a safe container where you can feel the emotions where you know that you're not alone you're not going to get swept up in it you're not going to get lost in it 
often there's this feeling of if I allow myself to fully feel this, I won't survive. I'll get stuck in this dark pit, this hole. But actually the way that I see it is when you're held, when you feel like there's someone there with you, you're safe to feel it, you actually start to go through the tunnel and it's often getting darkest before the dawn there's that light at the end of the tunnel but it can get really dark and intense sometimes because there's so much there that's been suppressed for years and there's this uncertainty of how long it will take to express that emotion but what i've realized and witnessed time and time again is that when you allow yourself to feel it it moves through so much faster and it's really, really incredible how fast it actually moves through. And it's like in the moment, it feels like it'll never end, but then all of a sudden it does. And you feel so much lighter and freer because you've just released that emotion that's been held for, for maybe many years. And this is the integration process of shining the light onto the darkness of what's been held, feeling the suppressed emotion, becoming aware of the story or the belief that we've been telling ourselves that have been keeping us stuck and rewriting that story, rewiring the neural pathway and shifting your entire experience, your mindset, your life. So this can be quite a big process and that's why I create different offerings to support you through that process. So if that's something you feel like you need support with, just know that you're welcome to reach out, send me a message um, or an email, and we can discuss different options of going through this journey or even just exploring your next steps on this journey of, all right, this is great, I'm resonating, I'm understanding, but what do I do next? So reach out, send me a message, and I look forward to supporting you even more deeply on this journey. <laughs>